Hey, hope you're doing well today. This is Kai with KSP Music, and today I have a quick video showing you how to bounce multiple MIDI regions to audio within Logic Pro X. I was looking everywhere to try to figure this out and just could not find it anywhere, so I wanted to make this quick video for anybody that was in the same struggle I was. Let's just jump into it, and if you have a second, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button or whatever, that's awesome, or just drop some comments. Um, I'm still very new to making these videos so any direction or questions you have is much appreciated let's get into this all right so here we are in the session um today i'm working on a kind of orchestral rock mix track uh, it's super dope um let me just play a little bit for you real quick so you know what we're working with All right, so here we are in the session, and this type of track, this is a big orchestral and rock track, um, but essentially what's going on is all this red are my drums, and I'm using contact for my drums. I extracted all the MIDI and put them into separate tracks, and now I want to bounce each one of these tracks individually into audio. Um, and the reason I want to do this is is a for, for processing power and it'll be easier on my computer and for gain staging um, Just making sure that everything is going to be ready for mixing. So Let's do this. This is super easy. Okay So the first thing you're gonna to want to do before anything else is just name your track properly Let's just make it easier. So make sure you go through name all your tracks. I got all mine kick to snare crash toms all that good stuff so name everything is step one um, step two what you want to do is click on the first track that you know you're gonna be bouncing in place and after this hit command and then select the other tracks you're going to want to bounce uh, once we have all of the tracks selected you're gonna go up here to file scroll down to bounce and then tracks in place and you'll actually see it's plural now usually if you're just on one track it'll be singular um, and that's how I figured out you can do it this way so tracks in place let's click the button um, just leave the name blank because that's why we pre-named everything and after this new tracks um, you could select whichever one I'm going to do new tracks because I want to make sure I keep that MIDI in case I need to change anything down the road. There's no effect, so I don't need to bypass anything, and I just keep that the same usually. Hit our button, and it's going to take a little bit of time to go through and bounce everything. okay and i am back now um so this is how you bounce the files multiple files directly to audio um, and as you can see now we have it looks like uh, double the amount so on top here we have our main midi and then we have the kick then we have our snare midi and then the snare audio snare 2 midi snare to audio it goes on um, so now we have just bounced everything to so there you go hopefully this helps yeah, I hope this helps you out uh, one thing I will note is if you are doing this like I was doing here it does take a little bit of time um, you know just because the computer has to bounce stuff or, or maybe your computer super fast I don't know but go take a walk or something go to the fridge go drink some water um, that'll definitely make the three minutes of but yeah, thanks for taking the time to watch hopefully this helped you out if you have any questions about logic pro x or mixing mastering or production leave them in the comments i definitely want to hear from anybody this is a new channel so just some direction and all that would be awesome um, thanks and take it easy everybody